Pete Harrison here, Cartridge World. I want to show you what we do. I'm going to come over here, and this is our Inkomatic machine. It allows us to test over a hundred different cartridges. We can test the electronics and their printability. Here I have one of the most popular cartridges out there. It's the HP 56. We're going to pop it in here real quick. First, we want to test the electronics just to make sure we have a good viable cartridge. 416 nozzles, zero bad. This is a good viable cartridge that we can now refill. We've tested our cartridge. We know we have good electronics. Now it's time to go through the refill process. Here's our atomizer. Allows us to get a good, real good cleaning using high pressure distilled water. Allows us to make sure those 416 nozzles are pristine. We then use our centrifuge. We put our cartridges in here to spin out all of the old ink, allowing us to bring this cartridge to a total empty weight. So now we've got it empty, bring it, bring it out of the centrifuge. The next thing we want to do is we want to weigh it to make sure we're down to empty. This weight guide gives us the full and empty weight of all the cartridges that we refill. It also tells us what flavor of inks we want to use. We then come over to the Eco Machine and we use this to refill the cartridge. Some cartridge, or our cartridges are refilled in a vacuum environment, others are just filled externally. With the vacuum environment, it helps make sure there's no air left in the head of the cartridge so our consumers will be happy and have a quality product when they get home. We have over 48 different flavors of ink that we use for the Eco Machine and another 160 other types of ink. Um, each cartridge has its own viscosity, its own pigmentation, even its own pH in its ink. And that, and that way it allows, we're making sure that we're using the highest quality ink to give the consumer the best possible refill and the same quality that they're used to getting from the OEM product that they purchased. Now we've got our cartridge partially filled. We haven't filled it all the way yet because before we top it off, we want to make sure that we get a good quality test print. Here's our different printers that we have. Some have been modified to take over a dozen different cartridges. So before we send anything out, we know we're getting a quality test print for the consumer. So as I just told you, once we get a good quality test print and we've topped the cartridge off, we'll go to packaging. But if we don't get a good quality test print, then we come over here and we have a few different devices that we use. One is our aspirator. allows us to draw any ink or any air that might have been caught in there or any ink that might have been stuck allows us to draw that through the head. We also have our jacuzzi or sonic cleaner that allows us to sonically clean the head for a few seconds and then lastly we have a little bit of steam. Once we've done these things we, we know where we get a good footprint is what we call it where we take our cartridge and put it on a, a paper towel we get a good footprint then we'll go back to the test printer we get the good test page then we go and we top it off and then we head over to our packaging station. Here at the packaging station a lot of things happen, one of which is resetting of the chips. So we've refilled the cartridges using our, our, our uh, Eco Machine or just straight ink out of the uh, bottle, but now we have what we call a resetter and this is for the Epson cartridge. Before this cartridge will be recognized by the home printer, it needs to be reset. We do so and then we get a, we get a consumer that's happy because they put this back in their printer and it says you have a full cartridge. We also have an HP resetter, and over on the other wall we have a Canon resetter. That allows us to properly reset, then we put them in their, in their appropriate packaging and away they go. With some of these cartridges that have the ink head built in, we want to make sure that we get a good seal across the top. On the tricolor, they're running back and forth across paper, giving little microscopic scratches. Well, if we don't get a good seal on that, those, those microscopic scratches can cause the ink to migrate. And if it migrates, you'll get cross-contamination. And instead of getting a vibrant cyan or magenta, you'll get a brown mess. So again, we make sure we get the proper packaging on the product before we get it to the consumer. Hi, welcome to the toner room. This is where we refill all of the laser cartridges out there. Here's just an example of the internal parts that we take out of your, the consumer's uh, cartridge, and then replace them with brand new internal component components along with brand new toner and once we put them all back together again we take them out to our test printers and just like with the ink we want to make sure we get a good quality test print before we send it out to the consumer so we will take all these new parts put them into your old cartridge basically making it brand new so one of the most important things outside of saving you money as the consumer is our keeping these cartridges out of the landfill that's why we 
believe in reduce, reuse, and recycle. One of the things, the biggest things we have is almost 500 cartridges are thrown away every minute in the United States, and we just can't afford to continue at that level. Cartridge World was actually founded in Australia. The Australians were smart enough to write legislation making it illegal to throw these things into the landfills, and, uh, and hence the entity was born. But it, it's, it's more than that. Again, it's, it's, it's keeping them out of the landfill. It's saving you money. And, uh, and, and, you know, it's just a good thing to be doing. When we get our cartridges back in that we can't refill, then we make sure that the electronics get peeled off of them, the plastic parts get chipped and, and, and sent to recyclers that make them into different entities. We take the, the drums and the mag rollers and the different parts from the inside of the cartridges, the large lasers, and we make sure all of that product gets recycled.